Hi my awesome friends, it's challenge time. So let's see what I created. So today's uh, challenge collaboration is decorating a lantern. And this lantern is fall edition. And our host is Anna from the Grace Life DIY. And so see, let's see what kind of spooky fall I created. So I started off with this fabric that I found at the Dollar Tree. I love the um, colors and the pictures, but when I opened it, I realized that um, it's repeating patterns, which is fine, but the repeating patterns, um, I think are like five different pictures and they're all upside down, sideways. So I couldn't use it the way that it um, came. So that means that I'd have to cut it all up. Now here's my lantern that I'm gonna be using. And I don't want to make this permanent because this lantern is part of my um, decor all year round. So I took one of the panels, glass panels from the lantern and I traced um, the tissue paper and the, I don't know, vellum paper, or not, it's not vellum, but, um, and so then my thought is to make a panel um, that I can take in and out. I don't want to make it permanent, like I said. So here I've cut up all the, um, the pieces that I'm going to use and I'm going to adhere it to the tissue paper using Mod Podge. Um, and so once I get all of the different um, pictures adhered to the tissue paper, then I'm going to sandwich <laughs> um, that tissue paper between the wax paper and um, a wax paper on top and a wax paper on bottom. Um, and then that way it'll give it some rigidity and then I can um, put it in and out of my lantern so that I can use it, um, you know, next year if I want, um, but it doesn't have to be permanent because like I said, I use that same lantern. I have a pair of them actually, um, but I use them in my decor um, all year. Um, and then I just change it up for the seasons. So look at all those cute little pictures that um, were on that um, piece of fabric. And they're really pretty, very vibrant. I really liked them, but I wish there was like, you know, one area where they were all um, in the upright position, but they were all different. And so I had to cut some off at different areas. Um, so it kind of had to make like a little you know, puzzle to put them all back together.
So now that I have my wax paper adhered on both sides, I'm going to go ahead and iron it. Um, and this way I'll get a good um, adhesion. I did put Mod Podge on both sides of the tissue paper. That way um, it would have a really good um, seal. I, I believe I have to chop the bottom off a little bit. In today's collaboration, there are many um, participants and they are fabulous. So you've got to go and check out each and every one of them and see how they decorated their lantern. Now, I have placed their name and their channel name in my description box so that you can easily follow them. I just wanted to take this moment to say thank you to all my loyal viewers and if you're not already subscribing please consider I'd love to have you part of my YouTube family and have you um, follow me as I'm on my journey to blossom my own creativity um, whether that's being with DIYs tablescapes um, so again if you're not already following please consider and also if you could please hit that like button because that tells youtube that you like my content and you're willing to come back and watch again and hopefully that will push my video closer to the top um, so that i can get more people to be interested so thank you again for always taking the time to stop by and give me love and support i do appreciate it so now on with the video. All right, so I'm now going to take my um, little panel that I made and um, I'm going to stick it inside my um, lantern. And initially I was gonna stick it um, facing outward so you can see it um, you know, on the outside and there I'm showing you what it looks like. And then I thought, that's not what I want to do um, because I'm not going to make additional panels. I'm going to um, adhere a cute little picture in there. So I changed my mind completely and um, you will see that in another part of the video. All right, so missing some of my video. I thought I was recording. Um, I added these green lights, this cute um, orange and black Harlequin bow. Um, and there is the man of the hour, the little ghost inside the pumpkin. Um, in the back, you can see I've um, used some orange and white striped um, straws to put on each side. And then there's that um, tile not tile but that piece um, that I created to put in the background um, because he was going to be sitting in there Mr. Pumpkin and then I added um, a little piece of that styrofoam candy corn in there and at the bottom I had a little bit of um, greenery or whatever it's called um, so I turn the lights off so you can see him better and then you can see the background better too as well so it looks pretty good um, it's just that he obscures um, quite a bit of the panels or the pictures on the panel um, but anyways that's I just wanted to create something cute um, something easy so you can do this as well oh and I adhered the um, straws just with the piece of um, uh, what's it called? Um, some kind of that wire that's covered. So there you go. So super cute. It looks really good on my on my little display case. Pipe cleaner. That's what it's called. <laughs> so I am I'm holding the straw there with a piece of pipe cleaner. So I'm just showing you um, what the pictures look like once he's in there. So it does look really cute on um, just sitting on the mantle, but you know, I didn't want to make it too difficult. I wanted to make it easy for somebody else to be able to recreate. And basically all this stuff came from the Dollar Tree, except for, you know, of course my little ghost and pumpkin. 
Um, so you could put any little figure that you find at the Dollar Tree in there if that's what you needed to, to do. So now I turn the lights back on just so you can get an, a better overview. So I hope you like what I put together for you guys today. I hope I inspire you and I really appreciate you coming by and seeing what I created today. See you on the next video and keep, keep coming back. I've got lots of DIYs and lots of Halloween and fall coming up. <laughs>